again. It's my first time looking at my G80. Ooh, wow. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Ken from the future. I'm interrupting this video to thank our sponsors and that's Simply Carbon Fiber. As you can see, Simply Carbon Fiber sent me over a high quality forged carbon money clip. It does a really good job of holding my cards and also my tip money that I just gave the transporter. I just picked up the car here in Fort Lauderdale from the transporter, which you'll see later on in a future video. I also want to take this time to acknowledge uh, What's Your Forte did a really good job documenting his journey of the G80M3 and uh, this video, I'm basically doing a review video just to get it out there so everybody sees that and I'll do a separate video where you see the whole experience and that will be a very thorough video so I know a lot of you guys do like that but again, I'm not going to ramble anymore let's get back into the video and see the G80M3 the full review and I thank you guys so much I'm excited. I'm not even looking at it yet. Yeah. So what is your name? Josh. Josh, I'm here with Josh. We have keys there. He's, he's taking delivery of the i4. And it's my first time looking at my G80. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Just seeing it in person, I was like, wow. You have the incredible Fiona Red carbon bucket seats, and this paint does no justice for the camera. And here's my 2022 GED M3 base because uh, save the manuals. And just looking at it right now, it's incredible. Hun, what do you think? Oh my God, it's awesome. <laughs> Is this one of the first Emola Ruds? To my knowledge, yes. Really? Yes, that we've seen here. Oh my God. And what I like about the Emola Rud paint, it matches the 50th anniversary uh, emblems. And this is a very special car and I worked hard for this. Um, I'm gonna miss the Austin Yellow G uh, F80 M3, but looking at this just makes me forget about that. Absolutely. All right guys. This is a Emola Red BMW G80 M3. This is a very historic color. And just looking at it right now, it looks so damn good. I'm so stoked. Like this does no justice to it. Again, this is just absolutely incredible. Can't believe it's finally here. So one thing I will say is that I did lose the tire lottery, so guys, I have the infamous Pirellis. Um, I know people don't like the Pirellis compared to the Michelins, but I'm gonna make do with what I have, and that's fine, so. Uh, just a quick reminder, it's a four year 50 standard warranty, three year 36 maintenance. Okay. You have four years of roadside assistance as well. Okay. Uh, in addition to that, you do have a 1200 mile break-in, all right? You will have to have a 1200 mile okay. service. Um, the break-in period, uh, you have to adhere to a couple things, yeah. right? Um, 1200 miles do not exceed 106 miles an hour. I think you can manage that. Yeah. All right. You'll be all right. Um, and also, 5500 RPM okay. and limited use of cruise control. Okay. All right. So you don't want to lock in cruise for extended periods of time, and you can get a manual to use cruise control anyway. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah so, of course. Yeah, Rarely right. use it. There you go. Exactly. Go ahead, Mark. Let's pop the hood. Okay. S58 motor. Sounds a lot better than the S55. Yes, it does. And more reliable, no crank up issue. Um, really impressive. It's not really a big, big deal anyway. I don't need no extra 30 horsepower. Yeah. You can get that easily anyway, right? Yeah. yeah. As long as my factory warranty doesn't hear about it. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs>
All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think about the Emol Red with the Fiona Red interior? I've spent countless hours watching other people's deliveries on YouTube, um, reading the forum, waiting eight months for this vehicle, and it's finally here. Like, just the surreal feelness, seeing this probably be in other people's videos and be able to live it right now. And I wanna appreciate you guys for joining me with this process. And a portion of this, I wanna be able to take you guys along because this journey on YouTube, it's a long journey, and I'm taking you guys with me. Um, this is a short video just to show you guys the vehicle because I don't wanna wait or have you guys wait so much longer for this video to come out. Um, definitely check out the following videos from here. It's gonna be about the Performance Center, my experience, and also additional information about my G80M3. So I also wanted to mention too, in the performance delivery video, there's gonna be some more footage about the delivery process. Also, there's a lot of good information about the track, a lot of exclusive drifting that uh, Derek was able to take us on, on his uh, M3, which is one of the lead instructors here. And also there's a, uh, a guest star, you got Brian from Keys Motorsports uh, taking delivery on the same day. And this is something that's not planned at all. So it's good to experience it with him. He's actually in the bay over there with his wife picking up the i4 Alpine White. Um, in a little bit, I'll have him get his reaction about my car. So I also want to thank Marcus Cooper at Roadshow BMW and also Baron um, for helping me set up this deal, uh, getting the whole smooth process of trading my vehicle in and uh, getting me an allocation because allocations these days are so difficult to deal with. And also having Marcus Cooper as my sales advisor throughout the whole process has been amazing. I'll leave their information down below on how you could uh, get your allocation. Now we're gonna go check out the reddest G80 M3 ever produced, right? For right now, for right now, so we'll for see. right now. This is Brian from Keys Motorsports. He's gonna check out my car for the first time. And here's your initial raw reaction. Here's my raw reaction, ready? Even though I saw it through the thing. <laughs> that looks nice. What do you so, think? I love the, okay, I really like, I like this car a lot. Um, see from the other side with the, sorry, with the sun. Sorry, I was supposed to be filming myself. Okay, so here's my initial thought. I think this looks a lot better than Toronto Red. If you have Toronto Red, correct. I'm sorry. Love the red interior. I have the uh, Isle of Man Green. Yeah. I didn't want to be the Christmas guy. Yeah. So I did I know, but it looks so good with like, this looks really good. Um, Slow Speed has the Brooklyn Gray yes. with the red. With the red. Um, my friend Edwin has the Brooklyn Gray yeah. with the red. I think white and red looks good. Green and red. Yeah. But check out on this angle with the sun reflecting off of it and you get the whole view. So you actually see the red calipers. Oh, which is yeah. why he said this is the reddest G80 currently. Oh right yeah, now. I should film the car, not me. Yeah, yeah. I'm like filming the thing. So check it out. So it's a Mola Red with red, with Fiona Red? Uh, Fiona Red and Terry, yes. Fiona Red. Fiona like from Shrek? And I think one of the biggest centerpiece as we get into, I would say more electric vehicles out there is the six speed because you're not gonna have that with all these electric vehicles. Yeah. So hashtag save the manuals. I like how BMW kept it mm -hmm. kind of like similar to years past. Yeah. Um, because I mean, you can always change it out if you don't like it, whatever. But I just think it looks very like, very classy, yeah. very classic. Yeah. Which is why, like I've been waiting for this car for eight months and you know how long it does take. Yeah. And now to be able to see it and touch it and drive it later on, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sighted. Now I love these. So cool. Anniversary. And he was mentioning earlier, if you have any of these colors within this Rondell, it goes well with it. So if you had Alzheimer green, this may stand out like a sore thumb, so it right. may not look as good. Yeah, we have, um, I just put these on a, Car to put them on. I put them on a black F80. Yeah. And it looked really good. Um, I'm gonna put them on her white yeah. X7. Okay. Um, this one has some funky badges. Like the back is like, it has the emblem. It has the emblem with the uh, camera in it. But for one thing, can we tell the viewers that this was not planned? No. This was not planned. Whatever your delivery date happened with your sales advisor coincided with mine. I was, right. I was shocked when you reached out. I was like, hey. I'm gonna be there Tuesday too. I'm like, let's go. Yeah, it was, this is crazy how it's all worked out. This looks so good. I, I love the wheel choice. Um, the bicolor, yeah. This is the one, no. 
826? Yeah, Black Boy, no, yeah. the black ones. You have the black ones. I forget. It's funny, like, they look so similar. It's like, which ones do I have? I can tell you this. I wanted to go with the carbon ceramics, but I didn't want to pay $8,000 for them. See, I, I was going to utilize it. Right. The reason that I didn't go with them is because I was like, if there's like an AP Racing Big Break kit in the yeah. future, I want to run that over yeah. carbon ceramics. Correct. Because and I don't want to take off something I paid ten thousand dollars yeah. for and put another ten thousand into it. So and let's be honest, like hopefully there is a fix for the rear calibers because that single piston caliber is not cutting it. I had a call with AP Racing yeah. yesterday about that. Okay. And they're working on it. Unfortunately, it's not super high priority. Okay. But it is something that is uh, being addressed. So, so here's a fun fact of useless knowledge. You ready yeah. for this? Yeah. When you're driving down the road, if you see a chrome badge. That means it's manual. Yep. Save the manuals. And yeah, and everywhere, like I thought about changing them to black, but I'm proud of this. I think it's a cool thing though, proud because it's, it's, hey, this is a manual. Yeah. And don't tell my wife, this is why you get a manual so your significant other can't drive it. <laughs> <laughs> See, my, my car doesn't have a manual. Yeah. It doesn't even have an engine. It's it actually spacious. farts. It farted. And it, right. and it farted. But yeah, yeah, I love the carbon seats. Love the red. Um, I was never a red guy until I bought a Ferrari Red F80. Yeah. And now I'm, a, now I'm kind of a red guy. And you're right. I didn't really like Toronto Red. Don't get me wrong, people that have it. I just feel like it's too orange for me. That yeah. Kate saw one when we were doing the driving, and yeah. she was like, "What's it? Is it red or orange?" Yeah. It's it's it's. I guess it's the replacement of Secure Orange. Um, right. And this is a unicolor paint. This is not metallic. So this is my first non-metallic uh, vehicle. So I'm excited. Yeah, no, it looks, it looks really good, dude. First thing is definitely PPF. Yeah, he, okay, so he's doing the smart thing. He brought track tape and he's gonna like tape it up. We're just like- You have some, I got some, yeah, I got three rolls. <laughs> so, cool, yeah. man. Well, congrats hey, with the car. No problem, thank you. Good to see you. And here. it's, like I said, small world for you to be here too, and yeah. we had a good time on the track. Brian could drive. <laughs> Brian could drive, even in a four series that wasn't like an M3. Um, I had the slowest car. Yeah, but you were doing well. You were doing well. I ate a couple times, I admit it. <laughs> but the other guy hit the most though. Oh, he did? Okay, yeah. thank God it wasn't me only. Yeah, but he'll watch it. He'll watch this video. That's so um, But he has a gorgeous color car. That gray black looks oh, so yeah. good. Yeah, it's over. Oh, it's right there, yeah. There. I don't have a zoom lens. Not a good one, at least. Yeah. All right, Brian, I know you have a long ride driving up north, yeah. up to Jersey. Um, again, small world, appreciate you coming out here and checking out my G80 M3. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to watch your video, see your perspective of how bad I messed up on these cones. <laughs> um, again, a really cool guy, definitely check his channel out. If you guys don't know him already, you must be sleeping under a rock. <laughs> um, but again, thank you for coming out. Uh, congratulations on the i4 yeah. and expanding your fleet. So thank stay tuned you. for the modifications. Well, congrats on this, I can't wait to, to see this more and to see this video because Whenever two people do this, even yeah. if they do it at the same time, like James Forte's video yeah. is wildly different than my video, exactly. which is wildly different than John Farrar's video, yeah. which is going to be different than your video. Than my, your video. Like, so like every, and this is going to be different than my last time. Exactly. Because my GoPros work this time, <laughs> too. So that helps. Exactly. But yeah, but it was great to see you out here. Okay. Get them safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Sounds good. All right. See you. Get a picture of you heading out. Uh, I want to thank you actually. Yeah, it's been my pleasure. All right, Josh. I want to thank Josh for, I guess, giving me the most ultimate driving experience of taking delivery of the ultimate machine, the M car. Uh, he's been a great knowledge and very helpful, letting me PPF my car or temporary PPF my car, and it's been fun. So, Josh, any last words to say? Glad to help, guys. Appreciate you coming. Glad you could join us. Congratulations on the beautiful car. Hope you can come back another time soon. And he says, if you're able to. What would you say earlier, if you're able to? This is the only way? This is the only way to do delivery. If you can make it down here, carve out some time, come see us. This is a spot to be for your delivery of your new BMW. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, this is a small world. This is not planned at all. I've got my <laughs> wife here, right? And a familiar face. What's up? Ha 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 ha.